So I've now played through the demo three times all the way, you know, from the very beginning to the very end, three full times. And in doing so, I was able to uncover lots of secrets and I was able to discover how to set yourself up perfectly for when the game comes out in November. This video will contain spoilers, so if you are against spoilers and you haven't played the demo yet, go play the demo and then come back and watch this video and see if you're able to find out all the secrets. In day one, you don't really get to do anything. You just watch a whole bunch of story scenes and then you go to bed. So day one, not really much to say here. On the next few days, the game slowly starts to give you more and more freedom, but the first few days you still don't really have that much freedom, um, and your days are going to start at 1 p.m., and the game will force you to go to bed at 10 p.m. So you've only got nine hours, so we're going to have to use those nine hours as efficiently as possible. So your friend here, she's going to teach you how to farm, which, I mean, come on, it's all self-explanatory. Can't we just do this on our own? But anyway, she's going to like take you through it step by step. And then immediately after you go through this tutorial, then you're going to run behind the house and get some more seeds and then go back and plant those as well. Your friend is also going to mention that if you want to, you can go to Nord Step to get um, materials so you can get a hammer. That's what you want to do immediately. So as soon as she leaves and you're finished on the farm, then run here. Every day that it's possible to go here, you're going to want to go here, kill all the monsters, and then get all the items that they drop and pick up all the items that are on the ground because they'll only spawn once a day. So every day, go there at least once and kill everything and take everything that you can. Um, there's a cutscene that'll happen if you go too deep. Um, it's pointless, so I would recommend not even doing it. If you have the time, you're going to run back to town and go to all three of the shops just to meet them because the next day they're going to give you a quest. And if you visit them today, it still counts as completing the quest. But more important than that, if you go south on your farm, there's an area where you can just mine and grab a bunch of items for free. So you definitely want to end your day by doing that. One last important thing to note is don't sell anything on this day because she hasn't explained the shipping bin to you yet, so it's not active yet. So anything that you sell today, you're not going to get the money tomorrow anyway. You can also go back to your field and make sure that you planted all the seeds that you were able to find as you were out adventuring. Now you can try to go to bed and you're going to have to watch some more cutscenes and then bam, it's day number three. Now your friend is going to teach you how to use the shipping box. So now you can go to the shipping box and sell everything that you have collected that you don't really need in the beginning. So the things that I would recommend selling are all of the vegetables that you harvest. So everything that you've planted and you're able to harvest, just go ahead and sell it immediately for the first few days. Um, you definitely don't want to sell your hard stones, and I wouldn't sell the sandwich either. Those are the two things that I would say definitely do not sell. For the rest of this day, just do exactly what I did yesterday. Um, make sure you go to the Nord Step, do all that again, and then go back to your farm, and then go to that special area at the bottom of your farm, and then once you do this, you should have enough stones to make the hammer already. So this is how much I was able to make at the end of the first day, um, 990. Not too bad. So this day is going to be the same as the past two days, except now we have some money. So you're going to have some extra stamina, and you can go to the shop, buy some seeds, go home, and plant them. Um, I personally don't think it really matters which seeds you buy, because um, the vegetables, if you didn't know, they give you random amounts of money. But a really important thing to note is we want to get copper ore as soon as possible, because we want to upgrade our weapon as soon as possible. There's one in the bottom left of the map. So, at the end of the next day, I made 780 Grilla. The next day, again, you're going to do the same things you've been doing the past few days, but there's going to be a cutscene where you fight some extra monsters, and make sure to check your mail, because they give you really good stuff in the mail in this game. Okay, so again, make sure you're selling all the stuff, and this day I also started selling the Monolite Fragments, because as long as you have like one or two return bells, you're fine. So you can just sell all the excess Monolite Fragments you get, because you're going to get a ton of them. Okay, so there's going to be a cutscene, and he's going to give you some armor. Make sure you put it on as soon as you can, because it's really helpful in battle. Starting with this day, it doesn't let you go back to the Nord Step anymore, but you can go to this new area where it kind of looks like it's fall, and you're going to get a new ally as soon as you go there. This is a map of the area. Um, what we want to do on the first day that we're here is to just make this first circle. So you see that like once we make that first big circle and then come back down, we can build that ladder so that on the next day we can just go right when we enter the dungeon and then you can go up that ladder. 
make sure that you build these ladders as soon as you possibly can. I remember when I saw the um, presentation for this game and they were talking about building ladders is a like, <laughs> you know, strategic thing and you have to think about whether you have the time. Um, no, just do it. It's going to save you so much time in the future. So every time you see a ladder, just build it. So after you build the ladder and make sure that you found the copper ore that they have there, once you have those two things done, just go back to town. Um, there's no need to really push yourself in the adventuring part too much. Um, the main thing that you want to do, as we said before, is upgrade your weapon. So after you build the ladder and you got the second copper ore so you can upgrade your weapon, just go back and do it. Also, another thing to note is that you should be constantly leveling up. Um, just one point of any stat seems to be pretty helpful in this game, so make sure that every day you're fighting as many monsters as you can. So now that we got that ladder built, we can just enter the area and take an immediate right and go up the ladder. This is going to save us a bunch of time. And then now you have to make the decision whether you want to fight the boss today or you want to fight him tomorrow. Um, actually, I think either one is fine. He's really not that difficult at all, so I would recommend doing it today just so you can get it out the way and you can start fighting the higher level monsters as soon as possible. After beating the unicorn, we're finally going to get the opportunity to save manually and we can teleport. So these green things right here, they're really important. Then um, we just want to do one last thing adventuring today is you can just keep going and you can get the mage class. Um, personally, I don't think the mage class is very good. I think the warrior is a lot better. The only time that you should be the mage is when you're fighting this particular monster because he's weak versus magic. But for everything else, you're going to want to use the warrior. After you get the mage class, you can go back to town, and now is when I'd recommend upgrading your partner's weapon. Um, your partner doesn't really do too much, but I think it's a good thing to have, you know, just for a little bit of extra firepower. You can also use some of your money to buy some extra seeds and then go home and plant them, of course. Um, and also note that they each have a stock, so it looks like every season they're only going to have so many seeds. We're going to pause here for a minute just to talk about what our goals are going to be for the last week of the game. So the game will end either after you finish the last boss or at the end of day 15. So if you go to sleep on day 15, it's over. You beat the boss, it's over. So the most optimal thing is going to be wait to fight the boss until day 15 and then fight the boss on that last day. This is the map of the second area. If you go to the top area, so you see the northmost part, that's where you're going to fight the final boss. You can actually go into that area, and then there's another like teleporter that's right there. So I recommend going to that area as soon as you can. But obviously, don't go and do the boss fight until day 15. So we need to think about what are we going to do in this last week. If you've been following along with me and doing exactly as I did, then your weapons should already be upgraded at this point. The next thing that you're going to want to do as soon as humanly possible is build the kitchen. I cannot stress this to you enough. Get the kitchen ASAP because cooking in this game I think is going to be the most important aspect because when you're in battle you can't really dodge very much so you really need food to recover your health and also to build up your stamina. You can see here, once you build the kitchen, they give you this mountain stir-fry recipe for free. And all you have to have is wild leaves and little mushrooms. And then you can start making this, and it's really good. It recovers a lot of your health. As you'll note up till now, like battling is a very important part of this game. And so eating is also a very important thing because it restores your health and some of the recipes, they can also restore your stamina. So that's why um, on the early days, you're going to want to fight as much as you can, save up some money and get that kitchen as soon as you possibly can. So here in my game, I did it by day 10. I went to the renovator who's located in the west of town um, and I just built my kitchen on the 10th day. So note my inventory here. Um, I have the sandwiches, I have the mountain stir fry, and I have some drinks. The drinks and the sandwiches, I just got them from checking my mail. Like your friends, they're going to send you a lot of goodies, so always be checking your mail. And then you can start cooking mountain stir fry now that your kitchen is complete. So now that we've gotten the kitchen and we started cooking, look what we're about to do. Now we're ready to fight these fear. So these are the bad guys that you're technically supposed to not fight in the beginning. But if you really um, get into cooking, 
then you're going to have enough stamina to fight him. So you can see here, like I started with just some food in my inventory, and you can see I only have about a thousand health, so that's probably about where you want to be. And then just keep fighting him, and every time you get down to like 300 health, then eat some food, because the, most of the food it restores about 700 health, and then bam, you're able to defeat him. And then after defeating him, he'll usually drop some equipment that you can use. So, I told you guys again and again to get a kitchen. Why? Well, you just saw we're now able to beat the strongest enemies in the game. Enemies that we're not even supposed to be fighting at this point. But, there's also some more secrets that are hidden once you start cooking. Go to the general store and buy the cheapest recipes that they have. It's only 300 grilla, and it's called Homely Leith Recipes. Once you buy these cheap recipes, you'll find that there's actually two of them that you can start cooking right away. This one, it just requires meat, an egg, and a mushroom. And you may be thinking, what? We can't get eggs. Like the clefowls, they don't grow fast enough. But there's actually some eggs hidden in the village. When you enter into the village, there's four homes. Um, it's not the <laughs> grocery store, obviously, but one of the other homes that's right in that area, you just walk in and there's a treasure chest, and in the treasure chest, there's going to be three eggs. Then, once you start cooking some more, you're going to get this letter in the mail. It says, hey, you can cook, right? And then um, he says, you know, you can come by my place because my dad's looking for some food. After you get this letter in the mail, you can then go back to the town and then look. It says food delivery. Then you just go in there and you talk to the dad and then he's going to show you this screen. So every type of food, once you make it once, you can come here, give it to him, and then he's going to give you a reward. The first reward is just 1,000 grilla. The second reward is going to give you 1,500 grilla and it's going to give you a recipe to make a simple brown fence. All you're going to need to make the simple brown fence is one piece of wood. If you want to know more about secrets like this, you can subscribe because the next video about Harvestella I'm going to put out is going to be all of the secrets that are littered throughout this game. The last thing that I want to talk about is you have a little bit more wiggle room of what you want to do. Um, just because I like raising these cliff owls, I think they look really cute. So I used some leftover money and um, lumber and stone to build a cliff owl pen. So the last couple days you can kind of do what you want, but then on day 15, make sure you come here and you fight the final boss. Um, if you've been following my guide, the final boss will be really easy. <laughs> um, you probably won't even need that many um, sandwiches or whatever, because you probably will only get down to like 300 health two or three times in the battle. Um, and then once you beat him, the game ends. And there you have it. So if you followed my guide, you should have upgraded armor, you should have a clefowl pen, you should have a kitchen, and you should already have started doing the kitchen quests. I put a lot of work in today's video, so if you enjoyed it, please give me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.